Hi there! My name is Teddy and welcome to science! Everybody loves eating food! But what do you think happened next after swallowing the food? Food is needed by our body! Food provides nutrients for growth, for repair, and for energy of our body. However, even after we eat, the body cannot use the food right away. In order to do that, food needs to be digested and processed inside our body to extract and get substances and nutrients needed by our body. What is digestion? Digestion is the process by which food is changed into simpler substance that can be used by the body cells to provide energy. Now, I have a question for you. What system of the body changes the food into substances that can be absorbed by the body cells? That's right! It is the digestive system! This is the digestive system! The digestive system is composed of organs working together to get nutrients from the food we eat. Our digestive system has three main functions. These are to break down food into smaller portion, to absorb nutrients into bloodstream and transfer nutrients to the cells to provide energy, and to aid or help in elimination process of undigested food. During digestion, food passes through a long tube inside the body known as the alimentary canal or gastrointestinal tract. The alimentary canal, which is majorly composes the digestive system, is made up the oral cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestines, large intestines, and anus. There are also important accessory organs that helps our body digest food. These accessory organs of the digestive system include the teeth, tongue, salivary glands, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. When we eat food, it needs to be broken down into smallest form that can be absorbed by the body. For example, when you eat bread, you try to get nutrients from it and in order to do that, our body cut it into smaller pieces and mixes with various substances. When they are small enough to be absorbed, it is distributed to different parts of the body. There are two types of digestion. These are the mechanical and chemical digestion. In mechanical digestion, the food is broken down into smaller particles. This is usually happen in the mouth through the action of teeth and tongue. While in chemical digestion, the food particles are broken down into nutrients and other substances 
that can be absorbed by the body. This also starts at the mouth and continues in the stomach and small intestine. Now, let's talk about the parts and function of the digestive system and how does digestive system work? This is the mouth. Digestion begins in the mouth where food is mechanically digested by chewing or mastication. Inside our mouth are teeth and tongue. There are four types of teeth that break down food into smaller pieces. These are the incisors, the canines, the premolars, and the molars. Incisors have thin edges and are used for cutting food. Canines are pointed and are for tearing food, particularly meat. Premolars and molars are broader and bigger and are used for crushing and grinding food. As the food is chewed, saliva is released by the salivary gland. This is the salivary gland. Saliva is important for moistening the food so that food can be easily swallowed. The saliva also helps in the partial breakdown of the food. The chewed food is now called bolus. Bolus will then pass through the pharynx. This is the pharynx. And then to the esophagus. The smooth muscles of the esophagus contract in a rhythm form and wave-like motion. This process is called peristalsis. Through this, it pushes bolus down to the stomach. This is the stomach. The stomach is a large pear-shaped organ that can be temporarily expanded to store food. The sphincter muscle at the end of the stomach contract to keep the bolus inside. The churning action of the stomach breaks down the bolus into smaller food parts. The bolus is also mixed with acid. That's right! Inside our stomach are gastric juices, and these gastric juices contain mucus, enzymes, water, and hydrochloric acid. These substances are secreted by accessory digestive organ like pancreas. This is the pancreas. It is an elongated organ behind the stomach. It secretes pancreatic juice that help digest carbohydrates, fats, and protein. And because of these gastric juices, the bolus changes its consistency. And when it happens, it is now called chyme. The chyme is no longer a solid food, but it breaks down into a thick liquid. This is the liver, and this is also an accessory digestive organ. The liver is the largest organ in the body, and it is located near the stomach. 
the liver produces bile which goes to the gallbladder. This is the gallbladder. It is a small sac under the liver where bile is stored. During digestion, the gallbladder releases bile into the small intestine. These bile are important to digest fats. The chyme is then pushed into the small intestine. This is the small intestine. It is a long coiled tube connected to the stomach. If it is stretched, it is about 7 meters long. Most of the digestion takes place in the small intestine. The small intestine adds substance in the chyme to break it down further. Small intestine absorbs most of the nutrients from the food and prepares the nutrients for circulation throughout the different parts of the body. Now, let us answer this question. How does nutrients absorb by our body? This is how it happened. Inside the small intestine, food nutrients move through the thin lining of the small intestine and through the wall of blood vessels into the blood. And then the blood will carry the nutrients to the different parts of the body. And that is how it happened. The undigested food particles are not absorbed and passed on to the large intestine. This is the large intestine. In this place, water from the undigested food is absorbed. The undigested food materials is broken down until only the parts which are not useful to the body are left. These waste will be expelled from the body in the form of feces. Peristalsis continues to move the feces toward the rectum. This is the rectum and this part is the anus. These are the last section of the alimentary canal. The rectum provides a temporary storage for the feces before they are excreted. Peristalsis of the smooth muscles in the rectum pushes the feces out of the body through the anus. This process of eliminating feces in the body is called defecation. This whole process of digestion happens again and again to sustain the nutrients and energy needed by our body. Now we know that the digestive system is very important because it provides nourishment to all body parts. Well, it is also important that we know how to take care of our digestive system. Here are some good eating habits and ways for proper care of our digestive system. Number 1. Eat food rich in fiber to regulate bowel movement. Example are fruits and green leafy vegetables. Number 2. Avoid eating too much spicy and fatty food. Number 3. Eat less sweets in between meals. Sweet foods can destroy one's appetite for the regular meals. Number 4. Avoid buying uncovered ready-to-eat foods. They are easily contaminated by bacteria. Number 5. 
eating slowly and chew the food well. Well-chewed food are easily digested by our body. Number 6. Avoid swallowing big chunk of food to prevent blocking the pharynx. Number 7. Avoid eating too much at a time to prevent indigestion. And number 8. Drink plenty of fluids every day. Now that you know a lot about our digestive system, let us try to answer these questions.